From the world's first 3D printed high-tech rockets to the most advanced Hyperloop concept and a lot more. Today, let me show you the most insane emerging technologies that could possibly change our future world. Hey, how's it going? Richard Aguilar is back with something amazing to show you. But before we get started with this video, be sure to click subscribe and ring the bell icon for you to always be updated with new things happening in my channel. So now, let's proceed. Number 1 is Inside Look at World's First 3D Printed Rocket Building a rocket is a big operation even when you're printing them from the ground up like relativity space. The launch startup is graduating from its initial office, which is a bit cramped for assembling rockets to a huge space in Long Beach where the company will go from prototype to first flight. Assembly of the launch vehicle, called Terran-1, its Eon engines and R&D will all take place in the UHQ. It's nearly 120,000 square feet and will be built as a very high-tech manufacturing operation indeed. There will be no fixed tooling, meaning the factory can be rapidly reconfigured and will be highly automated. The company's 3D printers aren't like the simple ones used for rough prototyping but enormous carefully monitored robot arms that perform real-time analysis of the metal they are laying down. Number 2 is Watch how Elon Musk's 700 miles per hour Hyperloop concept Countries in Europe and Asia are filled with high-speed bullet trains, bringing passengers from Paris to London or Tokyo to Kyoto with 2.5 hours. But Hyperloops could bring passengers from Los Angeles to San Francisco in 45 minutes. Elon Musk introduced the concept of the Hyperloop in 2013 but the U.S. still doesn't have one. So what's the holdup? It comes down to technology, money, and construction. Virgin Hyperloop is on its way to developing the first Hyperloop, testing the 107 miles per hour run using Maglev technology. Number 3 is, the U.S. cannot build any new F-22 Raptors. By most accounting, the F-22 Raptor remains the most capable air superiority fighter on the planet, with its competition in China's J-20B beginning to shape up and Russia's Su-57 still lagging a bit behind. The F-22 really is still at the top of its game, but that doesn't mean building more actually make good sense while the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter is widely seen as the most technologically advanced fighter in the sky. It was designed as a sort of continuation of the F-16 Fighting Falcon's multi-purpose architecture, with an emphasis placed on conducting air-to-ground operations. The old F-22 Raptor was intended to serve as a replacement instead for the legendary F-15 Eagle as the nation's top-of-the-line dogfighter. While both the F-22 and F-35 are fifth-generation jets that leverage stealth to enable mission accomplishment and both are able to conduct air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat operations, they each specialize in a different aspect of air combat and were intended to serve in very different roles. 
Unlike the F-22, the U.S. continues to receive the new F-35s through comments by the senior defense officials over the past year have placed the Joint Strike Fighters feature into some question. America will undoubtedly be flying F-35s for decades to come, but it's beginning to seem less and less likely that the F-35 will replace the F-16 as the Air Force's workhorse platform. Number 4 is Blue Origin Rocket Launches News Anchor to Space Good Morning America co-anchor Michael Strahan and the Blue Origin crew of astronauts successfully blasted off to space and back to Earth aboard New Shepard. The December 11 mission was the rocket's third human flight and marked the first with a full astronaut manifest of six crew members in the capsule, according to Blue Origin. The mission elapsed time was 10 minutes and 13 seconds, with the maximum ascent velocity of 2,244 miles per hour or 3,611 kilometers per hour. Number 5 is Swedish Electric Aerial Vehicle Company wants to make everyone a pilot. Swedish company Jetson has a flying vehicle already available for sale, the Jetson 1. It can reach speeds up to 102 km per hour, but can only run for about 20 minutes. The 92,000 US dollar vehicle is delivered as a partially assembled kit from home completion. The company says learning to pilot the vertical takeoff vehicle takes about 5 minutes. Jetson's co-founder says the vehicle is vibration-free, unlike helicopters and small aircraft. Number 6 is China tests hypersonic aircraft's Terry Sky 2. China has successfully tested the cutting-edge hypersonic aircraft that rides its own shock waves. During the flight, the test craft maintained ultra-fast speeds about Mach 5.5 for more than 400 seconds and reached 7,344 km per hour, according to report. The Wave Rider is similar to technology being developed by US and Russia and could be fitted with conventional or nuclear warheads, defense analysts say. Its speed and unpredictable trajectory will challenge modern missile defense systems. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell for you to see the latest updates of our channel.